Hey guys, uh, welcome to Down Back Fishing. Today I'm going to be doing a um, arsenal video of about 10 rods. Uh, these are not all my rods, but I have uh, a few more in my garage. Uh, these are the reels that I don't really have, mean that I have doubles of. Like I have a couple of each rod and reel uh, of some of them. And so I'm just going to go over the combos that I like the most. Um, but stay tuned and uh, let's get to it. First, I have a Quantum Optics reel. Uh, this has three ball bearings. It's a pretty uh, solid reel. I have it on a 5'6 Mitchell Advocate uh, rod. I use this for uh, trout and panfish. I have 6 pound monofilament on here right now. Uh, but yeah, I primarily use this for trout and bluegill. Uh, it's a pretty sturdy setup. Uh, I definitely recommend both uh, rod and reel. Uh, the reel, it retails for about uh, like $30. And the rod, I think like 40 So pretty cheap setup. Um, very sturdy. I really like this reel. Um, I've had it for probably three years, but very sturdy and uh, very durable. Next, we have a uh, Dio Regal 2500 XIA uh, spinning reel. This has 10 ball bearings. It has a 5 3 to 1 gear ratio. Um, I have 10 pound monofilament on here right now, Berkeley Trialing. And then this rod is a custom rod that I built. Um, I really like this rod, um, but the reel is very, very nice. It's very sturdy. Um, I primarily use this for like uh, swim baits, um, like soft body swim baits, like sick fish uh, made by Havoc. Um, right now I have a Berkeley Devil Spear uh, on here, um, but I really like this reel. I've had this for like a year and a half now. Really sturdy reel. Uh, great drag, really smooth drag on here. Um, but I really like this reel. This retails for like uh, $60. And then the rod, it, I made it, so I don't really know how much this cost altogether. Um, but then next, we have a 6'9". Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this, is all, this is a 6'6". Six six, or 6'9". Uh, medium action rod. Uh, here is a Daiwa Procaster S. This is a, also a 6'9". Uh, medium action rod. I use this for um, like stick baits, uh, like Senkos, um, craws, like weightless craws. Um, I have a Cardinal S spinning reel on here. Uh, this is the 30 size, made by Abu Garcia. Um, I have 8 pound fluorocarbon on here. Um, great uh, rod, not so much the reel, I don't really recommend this reel. The drag is really, really crappy on here. Um, Solid reel, just the drag, like the, you may, you move like two clicks and you're, like it's way, way too loose. Uh, but great rod, uh, not so great reel, reel's like $30, uh, the rod I uh, got it as a present. Um, and then I got a, another Daiwa Procaster S, um, this is also 6.9 medium, uh, same rod as the last. But on here, I have a uh, Fluger Templar reel. Um, this has nine ball bearings, and its gear ratio is 5 2 to 1. Really solid reel. Um, I like using this when I go out in my kayaks. Uh, like if I go out in a kayak or a small rowboat, I'll bring this uh, just because it's easy to uh, maneuver and it's uh, sturdy. Uh, it retails for about $60. Uh, the reel does, and then the rod I also got as a present. On here I have 10 pound monofilament, uh, Berkeley Trialing. Uh, really solid reel, really smooth drag. Uh, I really highly recommend this reel. Uh, it's a really, really great reel. Now the last spinning setup I have is a 6.9 medium action, or medium light action uh, Veritas uh, made by Abu Garcia. I love Abu Garcia uh, Veritas rods. Uh, I have a review on my channel, go check it out, um, to go more in depth on this, but uh, I love this rod. And then I got this uh, Mitchell Advocate 4 Gold Edition uh, spinning reel, very, very solid reel. Uh, I really like it, been f I've only been able to fish it a few times, 
uh, but it's really, really solid reel. The drag is super smooth, uh, reel is great, cast great, uh, but on here I have 8 pound fluorocarbon. Uh, right now I have a weedless, wacky, uh, weighted jig head with a um, Strike King Smoky Shad uh, Shimmy Stick. Uh, great bait to throw right now, uh, slow presentation uh, ne next to structure. I've been killing them. Uh, last time I went out, I caught like three two pounders and a three pounder all in the same rig, uh, right tight up next to a dam. Uh, but then now I'm going to get into my bait casters. Uh, this is not all of my bait casters that I have, but these are just the few that are my favorite. Um, this one is a pretty decent reel. Uh, I've had it for like three years, four years. This was my first bait casting reel in. First, a first generation uh, Black Max made by Abu Garcia. It's a 6 to 1 gear ratio. Uh, it has, I think, five ball bearings. Uh, it's a great reel. Casts really nice once you like uh, oil it up. Keep it maintained and it'll last you a while. Um, I have 10 pound monofilament on here, uh, Berkeley Triline. And then uh, this is a Berkeley Cherrywood rod, 7 foot medium action. Uh, I like this for crankbaits and stuff like that. Uh, next, I have a uh, Abu Garcia C3 original 7 foot rod with a Daiwa XLR reel. This is the 7 1 1 gear ratio one. Um, I have 65 pound um, 832 braid on here. Um, pretty good reel. I'd recommend this for spinnerbaits, not so much frogging. This is what I'm using it for right now, like uh, heavy pitching and frogs. But it's a decent reel, but I like it more for spinnerbaits than frogging. Um, right now I have just a punching rig tied on, um, but not a bad reel. Uh, I like it a lot with uh, like 12 pound fluorocarbon, uh, casting it with spinnerbaits. Uh, it's killer. Smooth drag, um, doesn't backlash a lot, but really smooth. Next, I have a 6'9 medium heavy Veritas rod with a second generation Black Max reel made by Abu Garcia. Both of these are. Um, I have 10 pound mono on here right now. Um, I have a 3 8 ounce uh, Strike King Red Eye Shad. Uh, lipless crankbait with uh, chrome with black back. Um, this reel is uh, pretty smooth. Um, every once in a while you'll get backlashes and they're really bad, but you don't get too many backlashes uh, once it's set right. Once again, you really have to lube these things up because uh, if you don't take care of them, then uh, they'll start wearing on you and it's not good. Uh, I love this Veritas rod. This was my first Veritas, um, but really solid rod, really solid reel. Uh, smooth drag on this Black Max. I'd recommend this to like a uh, bigger beginning angler. Uh, not so much like the Adam Fisherman because it does backlash occasionally and it'll keep you from fishing. Um, but great rod, pretty good reel. Uh, and then second to last rod I have here is a uh, six foot nine medium heavy action Veritas with a third generation. Uh, Revo SX. This has 10 ball bearings, um, 7 1 1 gear ratio. Uh, really, really solid reel. I love this reel. It's uh, got clicking star drag, clicking tension knob, um, magnetic braking system. Uh, really solid reel. Uh, I fish this. This is the reel I use the most. Um, I typically throw spinner baits on here. I have uh, 12 pound fluorocarbon, I think, on here. Um, and just really great reel, really great rod. Um, if you're looking to get a really great reel, look into the Revo SX. I have a review on my channel also. Uh, check that out. Um, but wicked solid reel, uh, wicked solid rod. Hundred dollar rod, uh, hundred fifty nine dollar reel. Uh, super smooth, never backlashes. I've fished probably forty five times with this reel and I've maybe gotten two backlashes, um, but really solid rod, really solid reel. 
Um, next on here, I have a uh, another Rebo SX, but this is the 6 4 to 1 gear ratio one. Uh, I have a 7 1 to 1, or 7 1 to 1, 7 foot 1 uh, medium uh, action Veritas. I use this for crankbaits mostly. Uh, 14 pound uh, fluorocarbon on here. Cast a mile. Uh, wicked great reel. Um, both my Revos are in right hand retrieves along with the rest of my bait casting arsenal. Um, but smooth reel. Uh, sweet rod. But um, I have lots more other rods but those are my top 10 that I like to stick to when I'm fishing. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Down Back Fishing.